much longer before Travis is here. Ten more minutes, sweetie. Really. <laughs> Mommy. Mm hmm. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I'm already grown, honey. You're only 28 years old. That's not really grown up, is it? It feels like it. I wanted to own a bakery. A whole bunch of them. Nobody in our family ever owned anything. I wanted to be the first. Why not now? A strange feeling she's gonna have me on some type of stupid church bake sale tour across the country. Free promotion, right? You smart. I'm a businessman, baby. You just get your feet wet this day. Yeah, well, you just wish me luck because I'm about to make this dough, boy. You get it, right? Get out. Like dough, all that, how it coincides. Get out. Okay, yeah, whatever. Miss Jones. Yeah. All right, sure thing, Miss Jones. Yeah, well, I got you. Hold on. I have you on here from Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. Uh, is that all, Miss Jones? Okay, yeah, let me, let me talk to you later. Tammy? Rick. <laughs> wow. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? What are you doing here? I'm, I'm great, actually. I finished school, so I decided to move back, and I found a job out here doing family and marriage counseling. Wow. Excited to follow your dreams. I always knew you would. <laughs> but what about you? How have you been? Oh. Wait, you don't even have to tell me how you've been doing, Mr. Fitness Guru, because I've scrolled past your IG a few times. What's your 500,000 followers? Rick's Gym. I'm pretty sure I just drove past it. Yeah, I have uh, one down the street. I have another one downtown, and I'm getting ready to open up a new one pretty soon. You never did try to get fancy with the business names. What do you mean? I like Rick's gym. Remember we spent weeks trying to come up with a name for your tutoring business? And you settled on Rick's tutoring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always kept it simple. That's what I always loved about you. What's her name? What is so special about her, Rick, that you feel the need to end what we have? Four years, Rick? And you're willing to just throw it all away? Look, who she is isn't important. All right, for the past two years, we've been dating long distance. You don't want to come over here, I don't want to go over there. It's like what we're doing doesn't even matter. Wow, Rick, what a great excuse. It's not an excuse, all right? It's, it's the truth. Do you love her? I think so. You think so? Does she even know that you have a girlfriend?
I should probably get going. Yeah, same here. Um, All right. Well, it was really nice to see you. You too. <laughs> Now I've done my research, and aside from being the granddaughter of a dear mother of my church, you've really established a name for yourself, Veronica. Yes, ma'am. I actually, um, yes, ma'am. I actually. Oh, no, sweetie. Please call me Heather. Okay, Heather. <laughs> um, my grandmother speaks highly of you and your organization, and she's actually the one who insisted that I submit an application for the program. Excellent. Long story short, I'm old school, and I like old school women who follow career paths created for women. Now, I'm all for equal rights among women and men, but since it's become such a political agenda, successful women are straying away from obtaining skills such as cooking and sewing. I completely agree. Now, I currently give two scholarships a year in the amount of $20,000 each to two female candidates, one who is pursuing a career in culinary arts and the other who is pursuing a career in sewing or design. Wow. <laughs> I think the work you do here is amazing. And I also think I have a lot to offer the program as well. For starters, I've already started to establish my own recipes and I have access to my mother's cookbook which I know was in high demand when, when she was alive. Other than that, I donate a generous portion of my earnings to cancer research. Wow, you are a good fit. Now, I hear that you currently have a job. Yes, I do, a restaurant, but I'm more than willing to resign if the opportunity is presented to me. That's what I like about you. You know what you want, and you don't need a boss to tell you how to get it. That's essential in this program. Because when that money gets in your hand, as a boss, you have to make the best decision with what you have. Understand? Yes, definitely. And that's why I have a business plan here for you. That way you know exactly what I plan to do with the money. Excellent. Now, there's no need for a formal interview. I used to change your stinky diapers myself in Sunday school. So I know you come from a good moral background. You graduated top of your class in high school and in college, and you finished in three years instead of four. So you're bright. I'll give you that. But what I really want to know is, can you really cook? Yes, I mean, my clientele speaks for itself. <laughs> I'm sure it does, but they don't speak for me. See, in order to be accepted in this program, you have to be diverse. Now, I hear that you only cook baked goods. Yes. Okay, we need to expand your horizons. So, I want you to cook a signature entree and a signature dessert in my office tomorrow. Uh, I, I actually, I can't cook. Not, not real food anyway. Um, that even makes any sense. Um, I specialize in dessert items and pastry items, you know, like cakes, cupcakes, brownies, Wedding cakes, that sort of thing. <laughs> Sweetie, can't should never be in a woman's vocabulary. And remember, this is a competition. For $20,000, you need to be able to throw down in the kitchen. You need to be the best. I know you've got it in you. See you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Okay. Oh, and sweetie, I will be tasting every dish and only two will move forward in the competition as potential candidates. Bring it. Yes, ma'am. It's really interesting, I promise. Oh, hey. <laughs> Way to put that law degree to use, bro. Ooh, mom would be proud. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm having a me day. Uh, no, 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 no days off, lawyer boy. You need to be putting in some work on that case. You can't let Carl get off. Can I get this remote, though? Yeah, actually, if you can hold that for me, thanks. So bossy. Hey, mama. Hey. Why you look so pressed? What's wrong? Okay, so I have to prepare a dessert mm -hmm. and an entree just to be considered for this program. Wait, but... 
But you can't cook. Tell me something I don't know. Well, I did go to my callback audition today. Mm -hmm. Pretty much got the part. Congrats! <laughs> See, I told you you would get it. You did. So how was it? What did you have to do? It was a whole lot of talking. Nothing I want to bore you with, but <laughs> the more important part was the director. He was so fine. Mantende enfocado. I will. I'm just saying. He was tall and light-skinned and the boss. What is with you and your bosses? Damn! <laughs> So what are you gonna cook anyway? Brownies. Mm. I'm gonna add some pizzazz. Ooh. With some chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. And fudge. Boss bit. So you think you could make some special brownies for us? Some what? No. Listen, no. Nobody has time for that. These are for tomorrow. Listen, I'm sure if you slip her some special brownies, you get in real quick. Hey, get, go. go. Go away. I love you too. I don't condone in the use of illegal substances, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I left. So what? I mean, why do you have people keeping tabs on me at work? I know. Look, I know. I've been nothing but an asset to your family's firm. I'll see you tonight, Amanda. Bye. She's not your type, Travis. She's never been. How do you keep letting this girl control your life, bro? I mean, you know she's done a lot for me. Yeah, but you don't owe her shit. So you got the answers, huh, Sway? <laughs> you damn right I do. Oh, here they go. This is crazy. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, man, you my dog, yo. <laughs> yeah. Woof woof. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you know what we should play? What? Black car revoked. But you're not even and black though. I'm more black than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to the neighbor's house to get some sugar, so stay out of my goddamn kitchen. Thank you. That was good. Right? Hey, yo. No. Mm. Ooh, uh-uh, I'm telling. I'm telling. Boy, you nope. better. You know I got dirt on you, too, so uh, I would just shut it. Well, in. I got dips, since y'all did get high without me. Man, look, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. Look, I don't engage in recreational drug use. Mm. Sure you do. I thought law school teaches you how to lie. Because I, I, you know, I'm going to look that up on Google or something. Wait, does that mean I look like <laughs> Look, you know Ron is going to know you put weed in her brownies once you taste them, right? Look, I'm just going to tell her to take a couple of to the weed, and then she'll think that's why she's high. You know she a lightweight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, black card revoke? Yeah. Right. Start. Yeah, let's play. That's I knew that. Love thy neighbor, okay? I just got two weeks worth of pure sugar cane, okay? Tell me. Alrighty then. You see, that's the type of shit that excites Ronnie. See, I'm just trying to save her from herself. Come on, let's take off. Y'all yeah. ready to get y'all black card revoke? First question. Mm -hmm. What does the word thought stand for? <laughs> if someone puts their hand up on your hip, what is the appropriate response? In what year did Cash Money Records take over? <laughs> okay. Cash Money well, Records taking over for the 99 and the 2000. Hey. And they're working with the JJ, hey. 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 What was his real job more than likely? You ain't got no job, Tommy! <laughs> Next question. Approximately how long did Sophia have to fight? All my life I had to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, I'm trying to focus, y'all. Okay. Now, y'all probably not gonna know this question, but I'll help you out. 
Why shouldn't a woman buy a man a pair of shoes? Uh, cause he gonna leave your ass for a white girl. He gonna start cheating on you, start talking to Tasha, that thot uh, over there, and then they gonna try to keep uh, wait, wait, under the oh, low, wait. talking to Kiki. Oh, yeah. Come in. Well, I thought we we answered. And my signature brownies are oh, sweet, right. so I need you guys to taste this. Tell me what you think. Dig in, come on. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah, right. I mean, if she say so, right? Okay. Hope y'all like them. Uh, I got a little something, something. Oh, thanks, sis, because you know I need this. I'm screwed. I know you do. Hey, 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 oh, hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. I see you reaching real quick. Got uh, dibs. Excuse you remember? You, you remember. Uh, oh. Little punk ass. Damn, uh, could you slow down? You really not supposed to be eating that that fast. It's just a brownie. My cheat game. Relax. Um, <laughs> ladies first. Why are we not a lady? Oh, punk ass. Girl, all you're gonna need to say to Miss Heather is to cut the check, girl. Cut the check. Ooh. That's good right there. I'm glad you like it. Fire. I'm trying to win this competition, bitch. Mm, that's right, tell her. Pizza? You just ate, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, Travis, if you don't come home tonight, uh, I... Pepperoni and the meat lovers with extra sausage. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, a woman that knows what she likes. That's what I'm talking about, oh yeah. Oh, ooh, all of it. Mm. There we go. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. She's blowing down in there. Mm. You gotta be careful about these bitches, man. These bitches that have you falling in love. <laughs> oh. You can't resist me forever, Rick. Yo, I saw Tim. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. Yep. You remember how to make those, right? Well, for starters, I need chocolate chips. Shit, I'm late. Fuck. 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 Uh, uh, shit, shit. Uh, not bad. Uh, uh, shit. What time is it? I don't have time to make another batch. Please, just be good. Please be good. Mm. 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 Not bad. Y'all, what did y'all think about the brownies? Mm. Oh. Mm, mm-hmm. Amazing. You got this, bro. Yeah, they were good, sis. A little too good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to go get ready. Okay, so bye, y'all. Oh, shit. Yo, she about to serve weed brownies. I mean, what are we gonna do? We can't let her go out there clueless. No, that's okay, because they gonna be serving multiple desserts anyways. I mean, they're not gonna figure out it's hers. Plus, by the time it kicks in, the lady will be on her fifth dish. Good, <laughs> Either way, she's screwed. Either you don't bring nothing or you bring what you got. But yo, they good as fuck, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she gonna get in, man. Yo, I'm about to be oh, out, man. Yeah. <sighs> Slick Rick so quick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo, thanks for the talk. And the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. All right, I'll catch you later. <sighs> girl, all you're gonna need to say to Miss Heather is to cut the check, girl. Cut the check? That's good right there. I'm glad you like it. Fire. I'm trying to win this competition, bitch. Mm, that's right. Tell her. Hi, Veronica. Have a seat. Oh. Huh. I wanted to tell you, uh, 
you did your thing on that casserole. Thank you. But those brownies, tell, what is your secret ingredient? If it weren't a secret, I'd definitely tell you. It was my mother's recipe. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you put in those things, but honey, I'm on my fifth one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. What? Don't judge me. Snuck these away while y'all were mingling. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know. serious work to do. Look at her, she's beautiful. Articulate and shit. Hey, so I've been studying all the female hosts that have been killing the game, and I know I'm doing radio, but I could really see myself having a talk show. Of course, it's not acting, but I don't know, I think I'm cute enough for TV. Did you put weed in my goddamn brownies huh huh you know huh can hear right but i wanted to let you know that y'all as a team made my boss high as fuck and shit just gets weird as fuck um um One of the people that I chose was that white girl. You know, we need some diversity. Okay. Ooh. And the second person I chose was you. Wow, thank you so much, Miss Heather. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate this opportunity. But I do have one request. Yes, anything. I want these brownies on my desk every Monday. 24 count. And if you can, make them low fat. She don't need no more junk in her trunk. <laughs> she knows, girl. I know she knows. And I know she knows. That's no. Carmen, this is not a game, okay? It's not funny. I want you to understand something. I have been instructed to make Weed brownies every single week for this lady. Like, th th that's gotta be like. She probably thinks I'm a stoner or a drug dealer. She might tell mama, like. Uh... Okay, but think about how cool this. What? You could have a whole new clientele making weed sweets. No. Really? Look, real talk, mommy. Just. Put it in some muffins. I mean, they've already got space cakes, cannabis cookies, weed rice crispy treats. They even put it in. You could have all types of customers. No, no, that's stupid. Oh, come on, girl. Ronnie. Do you know how many people want to get high without having to roll up a blunt, stick that shit in their mouths, and puff all the time? I'm telling you, this shit could work to your benefit. And your sweets are already good as fuck. That's like a damn triple double, girl. Not to mention, take weed for medicinal purposes. Why not take it in the form of a cake? Think about it, mommy. I think we found your knit. Where can I buy some weed? For Miss Heather only. I got you, girl. Well, surprisingly, it's really good. I can't say it's good for my diet, but it is so full of flavor. Well, look, that's what soul food is about. It's about the taste. Yeah, of course I'm not used to this type of food or even this environment, but you look so happy, and that makes me happy. If we're going to be married, you got to know where I come from, not just where I'm going. Like, I want our kids to be able to eat in fancy restaurants where it costs $100 a plate. And 
mingle with people from my hood over a ten dollar plate of catfish and grits at Jackson Soul Food. <laughs> Soon you're gonna know what the itis is. <laughs> the itis. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I... We don't have any money. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine, I understand. No, 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 it's not fine. Look, uh, how old are you? Twelve, sir. Well, kind of big for a twelve-year-old. What you selling? Candy bars? Yes, sir, one dollar. I'm raising money to buy a flute for band class. Uh, I'm short fifty dollars, so every dollar counts. I must say I'm impressed. Let me ask you something. Who's your favorite flute player? James Gorway. I'm gonna be just like him when I grow up. All right. I'll take one. Thank you, sir. Look, now that's my business card, all right? Whenever you get that flute, send me a, a text or a picture or something, all right? If I get the flute? It's when you get that flute. Okay, sir. All right. So I suppose you're gonna give me the silent treatment until you feel it's okay to speak to me again? Travis, can we talk about this? I'm not ready to have this conversation. Look, I'm sorry I reacted that way. It's just, where I'm from, people don't beg for things on the street like stray animals. See, it shows me that you're ignorant and insensitive. You may not realize it, you were born with the privilege people like me and that kid didn't have. And you gave him what, a dollar? How's that really gonna change his life? Just like everybody else, he needs to work and not just expect people to give their hard-earned money. First off, I gave him $100. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Once upon a time, that kid was born. I had no mother, no father. Grandparents broke. That kid was me. I had no control over my mother's untimely death or my father walking out. And look at you now, Travis. You are successful because you focused on making yourself better instead of waiting for the government to give you a handout or standing on the corner begging for money or dealing drugs. You don't even know me, Amanda. Because I did all of that. That's what I have to give back. Every single person in my community has helped mold me. I just don't understand why you feel like you owe every black person something just because you made it out. You don't. You need to worry about you, about us. It is not your job to move every black person out of the ghetto or feed every hungry child or help every black man see justice in the courtroom. That is not your job. Wait, what do you mean it's not my job? Why do you think I studied law? so I can get paid a lot of fucking money and live in nice houses? Huh? Look, I knew as a kid that I wanted to make a difference. Knowing what I know. You know, once upon a time, black people weren't even allowed to go to school with white people. And that's where we met. And who do you think made that possible? A black lawyer who made it his fucking job. I'm sorry, you know, Trav. In, in case you want to learn something about me, I truly feel that I can help make a difference in the world we live in today. And because I've come this far, it's become more than my job. Amanda, it's become my purpose. And I'm not a man unless I'm willing to walk in my purpose. And that's whether you decide to walk with me or not. Oh, nice of you to join us. But we're already almost done. <laughs> already almost done? That was the warm-up, chica. This is fucking ridiculous. You okay? We'll talk later. Trav, you're late! You're late! 
So you owe me a mile, but don't worry, I'm gonna get that about you. Guys, today we're going to be doing high intensity trading. Rick, listen, we are not training for the NFL Combine, okay? We wanted something light, and now that we've done that, let's just wrap it up, like a little warm down. Yeah, I, I agree with light. You want something light? Well, if you want something light, how the hell are you gonna keep that ass tight? Now, like I was saying, guys, high intensity training, it will not be easy, mm -hmm. but it will be quick and it will be rewarding. Now, is everybody ready? Oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, huh? Is everybody ready? Yes. <laughs> well, let's get it in. Hey, look. I don't want no tight ass. I'm over here counting and I only got the 10. I did 12, Rick. Okay, well, give me two more. Because it's good for you. Ooh, Felicia. Girl, what's happening? Well, you know I've been waiting for your phone call. Felicia, girl, you work. No, but seriously, I've been trying to figure out how Felicia. Well, you know I do. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping. You good? She probably just one of his clients that he likes to fuck with. <laughs> oh, so you mad now? Shit can't be that funny. <laughs> How about I? Come to <laughs> Travis, he's <stunned>. etc. <laughs> nah, no, I'm good. Let's just get out of here. He won't even notice we're gone. Thank God. <laughs> Where y'all going? They really just left like that? Yeah, I'm guessing. That's sad, man. Look, you know Ronnie caught you cake it on the phone, right? Okay. Man, that was a client, a potential client, man. This girl got clients out the wazoo. I've been trying to get her to be a trainer at my gym. I be flirting a little bit, but hey, the girl ain't even much my type, man. Well, you tell Ronnie that shit. Man, my whole body aching, man. I need a hot tub. You weren't here but half the workout. You on steroids? I'm done. Uh, come on, man. You can stop. tell me. Stop. Look, yo. Shut the uh, fuck up, Trav. Stop. Just uh, stop. Listen. Safe with me, man. Why'd you leave? I thought we were getting food after the workout. You seemed busy. Didn't want to waste any more of your time. Why are you lying, though? I think we both know why you left. Yet you asked. Well, I want to see if you can actually tell the truth. And you still don't know me, Ronnie. I know that you want to be with me. I know that you're jealous and controlling and bossy and beautiful. And I know you need to back up. Somebody's at the door. Oh, let's see. Hey, Uncle Junior. Hey, hey. What you doing here? Good to see Carmen. Hey. Oh, hey, Uncle Junior. Uh, what? What are you doing? You trying to get locked up again? I'm trying to help you take your business to the next level. Bring some of them brownies by Mama's. Got it. You do know that's the reason why he went to jail in the first place, right? I thought it was for credit card fraud. Yeah, that and other things. Whatever. This should be good for like three, four batches, okay? I 
I can't believe Miss Heather's a weed head. Why you treat me like this? Don't start me. I'm serious. You get an attitude if you see or hear me with another girl, but you don't want to be my girl. Look, I'll say it again and again. I know I fucked up in the past. I put all of that behind me, and I think you should as well. Now, can you do that for me? Yeah, I can. Good answer. Can you do that for us? Yes, Rick, I can do that. So another good answer. Now, I'm gonna ask you one more question and I'm gonna let you get back focused. No, you cannot have one of my weed punches. This is strictly for Miss Heather. Be my girl. What? I want you to be my girl, my official girl. My Jada Pinkett Smith, my Monica, Monica, my Lewinsky. Shut up, Rick. I'm serious though. Look, in your court. When you're ready, I'm yours. I'm out. Save me some of that brownie. Uh, I'm serious. Travis. Yes. This is Jackson Rotimi. Just graduated law school and he will be working with us very closely on the Carl Mitchell case. I want you to show him the ropes early, so get him acquainted, okay? Alright. I think we've met before. Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how you guys been? Non-existent, but that's okay. It gives me more time to focus on my career anyway. Now that's true. So what's it like here, man? I've heard a lot about you. I've heard that you're moving up fast and that you're already in talks of partnership. That won't be for years. It takes time to get there, but um, I'm not sure if I even... Hey guys, Carl Mitchell's here. He's in the conference room. I want to go through specifics and detail. And I'll meet you in there. I'm going to go change into my lucky blue shirt. That damn blue shirt. Gentlemen. Travis. Jackson. Mr. Mitchell. Now, Carl, why don't you take us through the exact events of that day? I already told one of the people here what happened. Fine. Just answer his question, please. Like every other day, I go down to the court to shoot some hoops. I had a few drinks, smoked some pot, and then decided to go for a ride. While intoxicated? Look, I'm just reiterating what I said in my prior statement so this way I don't get accused of leaving anything out. Since here you caused a bit of trouble at the basketball court, uh, bullying other players, uh, taking their belongings, their shoes, and their expensive items. There's no proof of that. Okay. We bet a lot on the court. Wait a second, why does somebody like you need a bet? It's just fun. And I'm not playing in school anymore, so why not get a reward for winning? Crazy thing is that Marvin kid was winning, but kept insisting that I cheated. And yeah, I roughed him up a bit, but that's just part of the game. Finally, he got so pissed that he punched me in the face. And the next thing you know, we were on the ground fighting. To your standard. Who won that fight? He kicked my ass and called me a stupid cracker. Then what? I got so pissed that I left. But then you came back. I didn't know he was gonna be there. That court's my safe haven. Do you have anybody that can corroborate that story? No. No one else was there. What about Jacob Rye? He was there for the game earlier, but that's it. Wait. Can he testify to that exact story? Yes. One last question. You said that you were defending yourself, correct? Yeah. Why would you explain Marvin being shot in the back from more than 10 feet away? <clears throat> 
No further questions, gentlemen. The makeup artist said she gave me a simple daytime look. She didn't want me to look too dramatic. What? I like it. Do you like it? Do you like it? It's okay. Uh, where can I change? You can change back there. Also, um, pick something from the rack that you like. We're gonna be shooting you in three different outfits. Okay, cool. Yeah, they on some shady shit around here. Yeah, so I don't want them to know I'm asking about it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, look, another thing. I need surveillance footage from that night. Yeah, I need from every stoplight from Carl to Marvin's house. Yeah, between the times of 2 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. Today, nigga! Hey, look, just tell mom I'll be over there later, okay? All right. You all right? You seem a little tense. Man, do you believe this bullshit ass story? No, but it's not our job to believe. It's our job to make her disbelieve, man. Yeah, can't forget about that. You know, I just can't help but feel like he's trying to like Chris Daughter in us or something, you know? You mean put a black person on the case to distract people from pulling the race car? That's exactly what he's doing. But hey, welcome to Fisher and White. So what about you? Well, what about me? Well, you know, I think it's only right that I get to know my employees. Ah. Uh, well, I uh, grew up in an unstable home. I used to run away a lot. Well, not really. I just used to run across the street to my best friend Ronnie's house. And then I would crash through her window and sleep on her floor. Mm. We went to college together. But then I dropped out and started dancing. You mean like exotic dancing? Yeah. The money was quick and easy. But then something happened and I had to let that lifestyle go. Now I'm here, in the meantime, trying to find myself. And you think you'll find your place in radio? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Sorry, hold on. Hello? Yeah, I'm just about to wrap up. Yeah, no, I'll head down to the station in a few. We can have that meeting. Yeah. Carmen. You wanna go grab a bite to eat? Maybe head down to the station, talk about the assignment tomorrow. What's on the menu? Girl, I already told you. Why are you being so stubborn? I don't know. Don't knock it till you try it. I might try the cannabis cookies though. They look good. But don't tell anyone. I'm just gonna try some recipes to see I how won't. it looks. I won't. Good. I promise. That must be Mama and Papa Joe slow grinding. You already know what it is when the old school slow jams come on. I used to think they were so cheesy back then, you know? But now I think I kind of want that one day. Sure you do. Just make sure you wash my sheets, you floozy. <sighs> Bye, stupid.
So how are things? Intense. Ever since you took over, everybody's dying to see what you accomplish. Well, I'll do my best to make sure I keep this case as low profile as possible for your sanity and for mine. I bet they have enough money to make Marvin's death look like an accident, right? They do, but it's about what you want and about what's best for Marvin. No amount of justice will bring him back. Neither will money. But letting him get off with the fine shows that our lives can be bought, just like it was for 200 years. But you have the opportunity to bring the noise. I can't say whether this is a crime of hate or whether it's about race. But what I do know is this is a class issue. The system taking advantage of our young men who are less fortunate. Black people who can't afford the right representation suffer at the hands of those who have the money to keep our mouths shut. So if we do win this case, how much money do I owe you? I don't have much money, but... <laughs> Mrs. Knox, I don't know if you believe in a higher power, but I speak things into existence. And when we win, you owe me nothing more than a head held high and an understanding that we're both doing this for a greater cause. There are days where I feel like I want to be strong and speak out on the injustices that we face. And some days I just feel like I want to give up and keep my mind on just surviving. Well, the beautiful thing about being black is we were born having to do both at the same time. Well, I better get going. <laughs> The church is preparing a vigil for Marvin tonight. Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Head hell high. Amen. I can't believe Mookie's having another baby. And that's a problem to you? <laughs> well, she has three kids. Okay, and your point is? Never mind. <laughs> Look, I couldn't care less, okay? Y'all just need to end this within the hour because I just don't have time for ratchet shit today. Then why'd you plan this half-ass shit? Excuse me? I planned this, okay? Mama just said we could use Ronnie's place to host it. You do see what's wrong with that story, right? <laughs> <clears throat> three. Okay, just just give him three. Mother to be, girl. Come on in. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is your, this your chair. Yeah, this is, I'm here. All right, I'm everyone. Here. Come on in. Come on okay. in. Make this quick. Have a seat right over there. Come in. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. You okay? You want me to take your bag? Okay. <laughs> My favorite cousin. Um. So this is how you gonna dress your own damn show? Did y'all rent the venue that I asked for? We don't have no venue, Mom. Listen, yeah. ain't nobody got time to dress it up and come to your damn house. Congratulations, cousin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see you're adding another little Miss Mookie to the clan, huh? <laughs> What's up with all this pink? I know I told y'all asses I was having a boy. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. We can, we can make this work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We can make this work. I hope you got all the receipts for this pink shit. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to thank everyone for coming today to Mookie's baby shower, planned by moi, our baby sister. All right, now in a few, we're going to go ahead, we're going to play some games, we're going to open some gifts, but for now, feel free to help yourself to all the snacks and nourishment that we have provided for you. Also, um, I left my business cards on the table just in case anyone wants to place any orders. Mm -hmm. Cause Ronnie's case only come a dime a dozen, honey. <laughs> Hello. Shoot, a nigga left his fiance at the altar for that mm -hmm. shit. Girl, what nigga left his woman at the altar for you? Mookie just playing, okay? No one mm -hmm. left that. Jesse, 
fine ass just you know what, girl? I actually might need your services, okay? Because I've been trying to get my man to leave his baby mama for the longest, all right? You think some good-ass red velvet to do the trick or what? I just want to let y'all know. This is a public service announcement, okay? I don't have a snatch a nigga recipe, okay? I just don't. Okay, but they say to wait till a man's heart is through his stomach, okay? <laughs> and his dick! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> All right, can guys. we just can we just open gifts? Can Look, we do that? Hold on. I, I say when we open gifts, yes. Okay, guys, let's open gifts. Ooh, Who's ooh, first? Ooh, me, me, me. I got it. I got the best gift, girl. Ooh, ooh hold, hold it right quick. This is my gift. I got you this. Come on, open it. Daddy's little princess. First of all, I'm having a boy. And second of all, he, he ain't got no daddy. I hope you got receipts for that. Look, this one. Uh-uh. My son ain't sucking on no pacifier. Because before you know it, he'll be sucking Okay, on I'll, uh, all right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, we gonna, we gonna open all the gifts in private. We're gonna open the gifts in private, okay? Um, let's play some games. Y'all ready? Damn, Ronnie, you deaf? I'm sorry, what did you say? Do you make apple pie? Yeah. How many people are you trying to feed? Yeah. Well, it's just for personal pleasure. Okay. Carmen told me you could blaze it for me. Carmen said what? We, girl. Wow. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, since you taking orders, can I get that Mary J. Pound cake for church next Sunday? Mm -hmm. Cause uh, Pastor Josh got cataract. Sure do. For church though. <laughs> <laughs> I am <you> for the Lord. <laughs> Would you care for a drink, Stanley? Just like our college days, discussing dresses over a shot of whiskey. Yeah. But uh, we're all grown up now. Your terminology proves otherwise. Can we cut to the chase, Sarah? Have you put some more thought into that food bargain we discussed? Yeah, there's no doubt that my client shot your client. Murdered. Come again? You said shot, and I corrected you by saying murdered. Yet another lesson in terminology, Stanley. Right. But we don't know is the intent behind it. Come on, personally, we both know how this is gonna play out in the courtroom. My client, Mr. Carl Mitchell, will say it was unintentional in Zara. Let me tell you something. It was unintentional. And the jury will be standing beside my client. So this is your counteroffer, I suppose? Involuntary manslaughter. No jail time, $50,000 fine, and we'll even cover the expenses for Marvin's funeral. Honestly, Stanley, that's a solid deal. But how can I accept anything less than second-degree murder when Carl Mitchell got into a fight with my client, had his butt handed to him, went home and came back hours later with a gun only to shoot my client and leave him to die? But there's still no actual proof of who even owned the gun. Oh, I'll find out. Till next time, Stanley. Stanley, I swear to whatever guy you pray to at night, that if the evidence is there, I'll find it.
Netflix and chill. I'll cook dinner, you make dessert. Yeah, well, tonight we're gonna catch up on some Luke Cage, do a little binging. Are you serious? We've literally watched all four seasons about 10 times. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. I love you. Jenny from the block, what you got? What you got? Do you have a session with Tamika Derrick? <laughs> Who? Tamika Derrick. Are you serious? I know. I know. Since when do I work out? Yeah, it's definitely a surprise. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Um, I really wanted to get back into shape, and I figured it'd be better to support a friend's local business than to go to UFIT or something, you know? You sure you want to do the private sessions? The group classes are a lot of fun, a lot of moral support. She actually already has 10 sessions for the month. She's paid in full. Thanks a lot, but I really, really needed this. Oh, okay, well look, let me call you later. Um, I'm getting ready to head in and speak to Zara right now. Straight. You work for Fisher and Wyatt's law firm. Correct. And you're currently working on the defense team for Carl Mitchell. Correct again. Yeah, you're here in my office to offer me, your opponent, evidence that's highly substantial to the success of your case. I just feel obliged to do the right thing. Look, as a black man, I got... <laughs> Hold on, let me stop you right there. First things first, what you're offering is illegal and can get us both disbarred. Is Stanley seeing you here? No. I'm sorry, but this case is way too delicate and I can't risk any mishaps. I understand why you want to do this, but it's a huge risk I'm not willing to take. I can get you that win. I have the facts, information that's hidden, and I know all the stunts that the defense is going to try and pull. I can't. And plus, your lack of discretion concerns me, frankly. I mean, you come into my office in the middle of the day, moments after your defense partner leaves. I mean, were you even cautious enough to see whether anyone was looking? Listen, I appreciate your efforts. I want justice for Marvin as well, but I have to do this the right way. Well, did you change your mind or? need any help whatsoever, give me a call. No one has to know who I am, what I do, or whether I even exist in your world. I just want justice, even if that means breaking the rules. I've been dealing with annoying ass fucking hoes mm. all fucking day. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> First, that goddamn baby shower. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, I feel it in my chest. And then that goddamn chef bitch, okay? 
driving me insane. Oh, I hate her. And then I get a lucky surprise. Tammy texting Rick tonight. Can you believe? Okay, she showed up to his gym for a session. Like it ain't 25 fucking million trainers in this goddamn town. I mean, he ain't even that good. That's what I'm saying. The nigga weak. He weak. Weak as fuck, but... <sighs> so wait, hold up, hold up. How do you even know that she texted him? I went through his phone and saw her name. Wow, so she's back in the picture now? I didn't say all that. But I surely took the liberty of answering one of those phone calls to let her ass know. <laughs> Stop calling my man. Mm. You get it, girl. <sighs> Oh, but you know he gonna be mad. He gonna be so pissed. You know he hate that shit. But you know, I don't really give a fuck, okay? Ooh. Somebody gotta have the balls in this relationship. And know. apparently his ain't drop yet. Mm, mm. You know he did this shit when we were in college? He was clearly in a relationship with her, fondling me. I don't even know if that's a word. Is that a word? He was filling up on me, trying to get with me, and didn't even mention that he had a girlfriend. What is he doing now? We are together in a relationship, and he managed to have a one-hour session, and my name didn't even come up? Are you fucking serious? Girl. I mean, is his dick that good? It ain't that good. It ain't, it ain't good enough to be dealing with this type of goddamn stress. Amen, amen. You know what dick is good? My boss. Jesus. I fucked up. I fucked up. I don't know why I'm fucking my boss. I just fucked up my whole reputation. I mean, okay, imagine I try and quit one day. Mm -hmm. And I try to go to another station. What if he tries to blackball me? So, <clears throat> You think your pussy that good to blackball your shit? <laughs> Hell yeah, girl! What? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna blackball you. Oh, that's what you think. You just don't know, girl. But seriously, I don't even know what to do. Don't do nothing. Don't even worry about that shit. All you need to focus on is killing it, okay? Go to work every day. Be so fucking good at what you do that a black ball shit ain't gonna fucking matter. Mm. Fuck them. Mm. Own your shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them blue balls. That's what I'm gonna blue do, girl. Box. That's right. Own your shit. <sighs> you made me feel a little better. Blessed be thy name. <laughs> Wait, so now we gotta fight two's hoes now? Two's? Sorry, two, two, two hoes. You've had enough. Okay, come on, girl, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know what, but I called her, I called her chef trick. I call her, because she probably fight dirty. Plus, you and Tammy got a lot of history. Y'all should fight it out. <laughs> Okay, but the problem is I can't fight a woman over a man because that just, that 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 breaks all the rules and all the qualities of why I am a a, a, a phenomenal woman. I can't do that. But that I'll beat a bitch about my money. So since the chef trick mm. is fucking up the money flow, my cash flow, mm -hmm. she's mine. You Girl, as long me. as you fighting, I'm down with it. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. My life. All these fighting hoes be up. Too little. <laughs> That's all right. You got me, mama. I'm gonna need to get another bottle. You and your dad seem good, man. Glad to see you two getting along. It's just because he ain't seen me in a minute. Wait till that man get me in a chair. Hmm. Son, you can't just be opening gyms everywhere. <laughs> Today's master's like yesterday's bachelor. Why be Rick Devine when you can be past the Rick Devine? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You already know. You already know. Man, so true. But I, I can't lie, man. 
I'm a pastor because of your dad. I mean, he's one of my favorites, the greats. Number two, actually. Of course, you know, Bishop T.D. Jakes is number yeah, one. T.D.'s that boy. Yes, sir. T.D.'s that boy. Mm -hmm. I feel you, man, but you know, I'm my own man, bro. You know? I got my own business. I make my own hours. I hustle hard as hell for every penny without hoping people paying their tithes, you know? I mean, what? Well, your dad's not struggling, man. Seems like he's doing pretty good right now. Now, when I was a kid and he was just starting, we had to change churches like five times. Mm. These church folk don't really value their pastors like that. Well, you know, when you make sacrifices, the money's gonna come in due time. But check. Nice. I'm gonna get up out your hair though, man. All right, man. It's good seeing you, man. Hey, but we need to keep in touch though. Let me get your number. Yeah, of Betty, course. You got Instagram? Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I do. Uh, but my phone is actually is actually dead right now. But it's just lit up. But I mean, just follow me, and then um, I'll follow you back once when I get it turned on. All right, bet. Yeah. So uh, P R, that that's it right there. Preacher man rants. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. So follow me, and I I'm gonna follow you back. All right. All right, bro. Bet. Cool. 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 All right. Yeah. But we need to link up, man. Shoot some hoops or something. You don't want that. You still a shit talker, I see. Terrence, bro, you are a pastor. Hey. You are. You just started. The Lord is still working on me, okay? Father, forgive me. He ain't done enough work. Get out. Get out. Hey, man. You a trip. My dog. 500,000 followers. Uh, this nigga don't need no more followers. I need all the followers I can get. Center's coming along. Oh, it's going great, Ma. I am actually closing the deal on my third location sometime next week. Wow. So uh, it's actually going to be close to home if you're still thinking about getting in shape. I'm definitely joining. <laughs> That's wonderful, baby. I wish you at least made time for church on Sundays. I've been pretty occupied with business, Dad. Hard to just take the day off. How many times have we spoken about this? Man should not live by bread alone. You need the word. Your church is not all day. It's only three hours. Dad, your church is not three hours. <laughs> Look, I enjoy going to work every single day, and I'm making good money. I'm opening my third gym. Not to mention, I'm already in the works of opening up two more by next year. Year five, I'm going to have 10 gyms total throughout Florida. And that same year, I'm going to be opening up another one out of state in Georgia. It's 11 gyms. I have a plan. I understand all that, and that's great. But if you're not going to preach or go to school for theology like we all plan, the least you can do is attend service. I mean, God has been so good to you. And you're not humble or thankful for any of it. Like what, Dad? What has he done for me? Because as far as a career or my business goes, that's all me. I did that. And you know, <laughs> As far as being a father figure goes, what have you done for me lately? Besides lecturing me. Boys, boys, this is not the time, nor the place. Dad, when have you ever tried to just congratulate me? Or stop by my place of business just to see how things are going? Yet, you got a membership at 24 Hour Fitness? Mom told me. Look, I remember coming over here to speak to you and ask you if you would invest in my business before I ever got started. You sat here and you told me, son, the devil is trying to distract you. He's trying to make you turn a hobby into a career. Well, it's my career, okay? I'm not a pastor, I'm not a deacon, and I don't want to be. 
Son, I just want you to be respected and stable. Being a pastor is more than just a job. It's a calling. You help people. You teach them to heal through these struggles, and you build them to be stronger in Christ. Well, that sounds like what I've been doing. Except you've been focused on their souls, and I've been focused on their body. You can use my help in that department, too, because I don't think you've been focused on that one enough. Rick, that's enough. Look, I ain't worried about nobody's soul. If there is a God, that's his job. Watch it now. My goal was always getting to the NFL. After the concussions, the torn ACL, you ain't see me sitting around here moping around asking for nothing. I realized that I can do more. I made the decision to start helping people stay physically fit, helping people avoid the same type of injuries that I had with preventative care. I made the decision to be my own boss. I made the decision to make money the way I choose to make money. Last but not least, I made the decision not to have no hypocritical church trying to get me fired because the offering's running low. You enjoy that? That? Having a boss. He done been a slave to the unrighteous for so long. But you love it. You love these people that talk bad about you. Turn their back on you. We're talking about the Judases and Peters of today. You love it. Yet you don't know how to love your own. <laughs> but maybe that's the work of the Lord. Hmm? Let me know when you're ready to get back in the gym, Ma. <sighs> okay, baby. I will. Gym, Ma. Ronnie, let's go. So you upset too? He's our son. Your son. And you are going to lose him for good if you don't do something about it. But hey, you won't be satisfied until he wipes us out of his reality. No Christmas, no wedding invitations, Thanksgiving, you could forget about that. It'll be like we never existed. Figure that out. Figure it out. I'll pray about it. No. Don't you put this on the Lord. This is all you. Fix it. And don't forget to throw the trash out. We're closed. Well, you should have locked the door. <laughs> Tell me, what are you doing? Well, I was gonna attempt to work out alone this time. The site said you were open till 11. Yeah. That's next week, though. Well, my bad. Guess I'll just work out tomorrow, then. Wait. Isn't it your birthday in a few hours, Rick? Shouldn't you be turnt right now? What are you two doing? Bonding without mom's favorite? Of course not. I mean, dad would just tell Whoa, me. whoa, dad. Since when did you start Veronica, talking? Veronica, don't tease. He might go back to calling me downtown. <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, he was just low-key giving me some advice on how to finesse the ladies. 
Well, you need all the advice you can get. Because he has no game when it comes to finesse. And that's why he's with Cruella. Right. I thought her name was Amanda. Look, that's just some mean nickname that Ronnie gave her. So you don't like her? Listen, me not liking someone is like saying, eh, you know, I don't really like pumpkin pie. I'm more of a sweet potato pie type of person. But that's not really how I feel about Amanda. Because in reality, I want to take the pumpkin pie and just smack it in her face. And why is that? Because she walks around flaunting her white privilege, and then she tries to culturally assimilate my brother, forcing him to think he has to camouflage his way up the totem pole, but they looking at him like, still, nigga. Hmm. So you hate her? Mm. Hate is just a strong word. I just choose not to tolerate her. And what is this? Ronnie! Mmm. Zara Clark. Mm. You know, this is a good look for you. Give me my phone back, Jit. Look, I'm trying to partner with her in the courtroom, not in the bedroom. All mm -hmm. right? Well, you need to wipe that up if you ask me. You get the best of both worlds. She's black, pro-black, she's a lawyer, activist, and she's cute. Travis. What? Have I ever steered you wrong? You don't want me to answer that. Uh, don't play. You better listen to me. I'm telling you, I'm thinking about cooking. Anyone want anything? I'm always hungry. What do you have in mind? Ronnie, you can't cook. Travis, okay, just the other day you had my souffle and you said it was good. Look, I ate the brownies. That's what I ate. Oh, hey, Dad, look. Ronnie make these Travis, brownies, but she put it in the Okay, I, all, I, right. I, all right, all right. I will ruin you, I swear. Oh, all right, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Souffle it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't make no mess in my kitchen, Veronica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dad, you gotta try these brownies. I promise it'll make you feel nice. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 You look stressed. Nah, I'm good. Okay, well, I have tequila in the car. 27 shots for 27 years. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you wildin'. You know if you drink tonight, you're gonna have to double up on the squats, right? The pain will be well worth it if you share a drink with me. How about this? You work out tonight, since that's what you came here to do. Then, you hit the showers, and then, you get a few drinks. Just a few? Ow! What happened? Chili. You broke a tooth? Oh my god, it's still just dab the shit out of me. Oh my god. Mm. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nah, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. This is the wrong place. But I think I went into something different here. That court case. Remember? You got no justice betrayed. But at least OJ got away, right? And if you look where he's been, he's still paying his past to see that. Where could we really go? Look. You watch what I can't really afford you. I just worked too long with Sarah Ford, and now I'm here to reward you. Cheese and bad tenderoni. I brought her macaroni. I came here to feed you. I came here to see you, and you show And that's why you're successful because you focused on. Sorry, can we read it? My personal freak for the evening. Can we have true romance? I want to see. See, I agree with life. Life. <laughs> well, how the hell are you gonna keep that ass tight if you're always just trying to train light? Like I said, guys, high intensity training. Now listen, it's not gonna be easy. That's way too minuscule. Somebody noticed that they had real hair. <laughs> Did you see that extra beard in there? No, that other beard had the sticker. He had the sticker. <laughs> and now it's over. You got Instagram? I do have Instagram.
you know what? My phone is actually dead. So, uh, all right. But look, 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 just, just follow me on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you just funny. You're a funny dude, bro. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's try it again. My bad. Here we go. Let's try it again. No, it's a little bit. All right, here we go. She starts She's gonna start from right there. Let's play black card. Yeah, you can just stand up, even though you're not really in the shot. Okay, okay. All right, y'all probably don't. That was that loud. That was that loud. We was cheap though. Stop! I'm trying to focus, y'all. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so why'd you leave? I thought we were getting lunch after the workout. Close the door. <laughs> Anticipated it. I know I'm doing radio, but I think I could do a good job. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can do a good Do something. <laughs> <sighs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Like she, she. Don't know what I'm Be good. I mean, they've already got space cakes. We. Yeah. Um, I got one down the street, another one downtown, and I'm getting open up. I'm getting. Yeah, I have uh, one down the street. Okay. If there is a God, that's what? His job. Watch it now. Let's go back. You go. You go. That's enough, Rick. Look, it's not my place to focus on anybody's soul. Guys, Carl Mitch is here and he's in the conference room. We're gonna go through specifics and details and the basics. And, uh. It's not my job to be focused on anybody's soul. If there is a God, that's his job. Watch it, watch it now. Watch it now. That's the one, that's the one. We'll go back, go back. Right. Um, I think that's all you've been seeing myself. Right, here, here. Let's go back. 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 Let's go Okay, let's try that again. Um, but no, no, I mean, just take, just take down my Instagram and um, uh, follow me, and then I'll follow you back once I get it turned on. Yeah, cause I thought I saw it light up. Probably just died, huh? Shakira, <laughs> <Yeah>, really? <laughs> Golly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, it hit me too. I was going, I'm about to be like. He said. I'm oh. about to come up with something. I'm about to be like. Now just the light of the Lord. <laughs> That's good. You should have said that. Oh, say that again. I don't know why I just whispered that. What is happening? Yeah. Yeah, hit one of these, Jack. You'll hit one of these. Well, I tell you, hey, one of my things, man. Uh, I get tired. Uh, so you. Uh, I like that move. 